Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get access to Thomson One Banker from the Bradford University's library website. Um, this is very important data source for you to do your dissertation and other research. So come to the Bradford uh, University page, internal page or external, but go to the library which will be the same either you going through the Google search to the library of Bradford. Here you can then search for this data source called Thomson One Banker. You only need to do this more or less once. This is the way to guide you through to find the password and username for, for this resource. So you can then further click on this one and then it's, this is the description where then you can click say go to these connections it will ask you for username and password um, you here you just put on your university pass username and password you can ask it to remember it next time when we'll ask you again and it then the screen will show you the username and the password. I'm going to blur this password later on, so when you see the video, you won't be able to see this username and password because they're going to be on internet. So you know the username and password, then you can click on here um, for the time being. Go to Thomson One Banker Analytic. So this is the place where you will always come back to if you want to go to this service, you don't need to go through the library page. And in this case, I've been there before, I remember the credential, so I will just click OK. Then this brings you into the database. So what basically this database have is company information. So it kind of for investment bankers to do companies analysis. The Thomson Reuters icon is a much more richer environment than this one, but this is a, a smaller scale. Even though it's a smaller scale, but it still contains like uh, many, many informations for different securities. The main, main uh, menu is on the left-hand side. And remember, use the Internet Explorer. If you use uh, Firefox, this program doesn't load up so make sure you use it in, in uh, Explorer. I haven't tried it in the Mac yet but I don't know possibly you, you just try it out if it doesn't work then I think you the safe option is always use Internet Explorer to run this application so here you can have company information you can search company's name uh, uh, let's say Microsoft and and then you can get all the information about the companies, fundamental, etc. So those are detailed information, deals, which is to do with um, merger and acquisitions. Some data they have um, back long historical data, some may not. And then you can look at indices, for example, like um, you can go explore what index you want to use. Uh, if you will want to say world index, then you, anything contain world will be there. Um, and so DJT, if you will want to, for example, want um, Morgan Stanley CI in world index. Um, this is Dow Jones, so that is normally the world index we use. Um, you click into it, you can see it. Um, the basic data uh, import and export is we do deal with it later on. Because um, normally, if here you can look at price, and then you can do a kind of basic view data and download but they are quite restricted in a way I'm going to tell you in another video how to download data through Excel which is much more powerful you can download for more than one company um, so those are different 
tools you can you can explore. If you want to do uh, Excel download, then you need to actually install this official t Office tool, and you download it here and install it. I'm going to talk about it in the next video. So overview, this is how you get into here and find information. Um, if you have any questions, just drop me an email or come talk to me during the lecture uh, after the lecture or seminars.